Hello guys, when talking about databases in Laravel, we usually talk about Eloquent or Query Builder. But there's one topic not enough discussed, which is database transactions. A lot of developers don't use them, don't understand how and why to use them. So in this video, I will show you example where you need to use database transaction to avoid critical errors. Imagine a situation where you have transactions in your database, transactions and accounts. In the database schema, it's account. So account means one person, one credit card or something like that. And then you have transactions, history of what was actually done. Like money added, money withdrawn, some spending, some expense, something like that. And when that transaction is registered, you actually need to do two things. For example, amount for shopping, you save the transaction. And in the database, what should happen is refresh, registering the transaction, and also updating the balance of the account, so this number. And in the code, it looks like this one. So controller store method does two things, creates the transaction and updates the balance. And that works pretty well, unless someone does some mistake in one of the actions. Imagine in this case that transaction is created successfully, but updating the balance fails for some reason. Then there will be mismatch in numbers, which will cause huge errors for that person. Imagine if it was like banking system or something like that. So for these cases where you have multiple operations, which are depending on each other and cannot fail individually, you need database transactions. First, let me show you what happens if you don't use transactions. Imagine a developer makes a mistake and make a typo. So instead of balance, just mix the letter. Happens to everyone, right? And now if we try to save new transaction with whatever amount, whatever description, save transaction, it fails. And then you can catch that exception, stuff like that. But in the database, look what happens. Transaction is saved, but account balance isn't updated. So first query is executed successfully, second query fails. And then good luck trying to update all the numbers to be correct in the database, probably manually. So to avoid that, it's pretty easy in Laravel to use database transactions. If we look at the official documentation of Laravel, all you actually need is wrap your functions, wrap your actions into DB transaction. So we copy and paste here, delete the internals, and the internals will be these. Then also some stuff slash DB because it's a global facade. And then also PHP storm underlines correctly the variables which are not accessible in the closure function. So you need to use them. So use account, transaction amount, and request. We save and let's try to do that again. Let's just refresh with the same data, continue. Same error you would think, right? But now let's take a look at transactions. There's no new transaction. So again, once again, two transactions, refresh, error, but still two transactions. Which means that if some of the action fails, everything will be rolled back automatically. So that is the case, how you use database transactions. So short, quick lesson about databases. That's it. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos because I'm shooting them daily now. Also hit the bell button to be notified of new videos via email and see you guys in other videos.